Today I'm going to be showing you how to create coupon codes in Magento 2. So first you're going to have to log into your Magento 2 admin panel and then you're going to go over to the marketing button and then click cart price rules. And then you're just going to go over here and click add new rule. So what I'm going to be doing a coupon for is a 50% um, off coupon for just a uh, specific item. So, 50% off the Daphne hoodie. Alright, and then you're going to want to set your status as being active so it does appear. And you're going to select your main website and then select what, uh, whichever customers you want this coupon to be available to. I'm just going to select um, retail customers, not the wholesale. And if you want a coupon code for it, if you don't just want it to uh, happen on its own, you select specific coupon. And now you're going to have to either auto generate a coupon code by selecting this checkbox or create your own. I like to create my own coupon codes because they make a bit more sense than the auto generated ones. So I'm just using 50% off Daphne because it's called the Daphne hoodie. Um, now you can select whether you want there to be a maximum use per coupon or maximum times a customer can use this coupon. Um, I'm just going to leave it as, if you don't fill anything in, it just makes it unlimited and I'm just going to do that for now. You can also select dates you want it to be available for. This is the date you select it to be active and then you select the date you wish it to become inactive. Um, and then you can select its priority, but that's not majorly important. And then I'm going to go over to actions. So I want mine to be a percent of product price discount. You could select a, a fixed amount, a fixed amount discount for the entire cart, or you could do the buy something, get another free. But I'm just going to be doing percent today. And it's going to be 50% off. Um, you could choose a maximum amount that a person can use the coupon for, but I'm just going to leave it as unlimited. And it doesn't affect the shipping, so I don't need to do that, but if you want it to also apply to the shipping amount, you could select yes. And you can make it affect the other rules in play. If you want the other rules to become inactive when you use this rule, you could select yes. But I'm just going to keep it as no, keeping it simple. And then I'm going to apply my rules. So I only want this 50% off coupon to be applied to one specific item. So I'm going to select the condition as being the SKU. There are many, many things you can choose from, but SKUs are pretty simple. And then I'm just going to go back to the front end. Here's the SKU. I'm going to paste it here, and then just check the green arrow. And now that will be applied to that SKU. And then you can just make a label for your own reference. And then once you're all done there, you can just hit save. Now to ensure that this is actually going to work on the front end, I'm going to go test it out. So I'm going to add this Daphne hoodie to my bag. And now I'm going to apply that coupon code. So 50 off Daphne. And there we go. So now we see that I'm getting 29.50 off. And so the total is 29.50. So yeah, that's just a really simple coupon code. There are many, many more you can use, and I'll probably do some more videos on some more complex coupon codes. But just to get started, there's an intro video, and uh, be sure to check out Collins Harper for Best in Industry Magento Web Development, and also be sure to check out our Collins Harper blog where we update um, new articles and videos, and yeah, it's pretty cool to check it out. And uh, thank you so much for watching.